Now let's get fucking wild. Let's... Oh shit, this one gives you the big money. Oh shit. Oh shit, this one might be a wild one then. This one might be one that like, might be difficult. Or oh, they just really want you to play. The one where we're gonna be weird about women. Hell yeah, let's go. So, you know, it was fun, but it was also so long, yeah, I couldn't see that. I don't mind it being long, but yeah, <laughs> fuck, I love being weird about women. Yeah! Hell yeah! <laughs> we repelled the anti spirals. Time for the women to fight, and that's every bit as fierce as a fight for our ex right to exist as a species. Fuck yeah! <laughs> oh, Chibaraku! You small-faced, handsome devil! Z3 still had the good one where it was the, all the B listers like they d d like the girls decide who would be, was best girl. We decide who's best man, and then all the main characters just went fuck off. We don't care. We are confident. We do not need your bullshit. Yeah, you get it, Wataru. <laughs> I mean, more than you, Shibaraku, mainly. He hasn't known them in that way, Jibaraku. <laughs> this is... Love when he does the handsome man face? I too love 100% of his screen time. Yeah, only a, only a sorcerer can understand women. What's your magical secret, Yuri? Yeah, agreed, Wataru. Fucking unstoppable. C complete destruction of Yuri. Call the police. There's been a fucking murder. Kids say the darndest things? <laughs> That's a good Callan face. Why is the little ten year old giving a wizard a plenty of efficiency? Because Wadaru is good and smart. Oh my god, look at this shit. What the fuck? It's happening, it's over. Oh my god, that's a good grandest face as well! Shit! <laughs> she causes chaos. Hey. 
They're all talking about stupid shit, then Marvel just comes in and goes, Shut the fuck up! And then she just cannot stop. It's over. Yeah, that's it, Chris. Too bad you I'm gonna use it to clean a toilet. Oh, here's Noin. She hasn't said much yet. Extra dilemma. Strange. Yeah, all their auras are going hyper. It's over. But jam. That's impossible. Oh good, here comes Sparrow, like, excellent, I have a mathematical formula for which one of you women is the best. It's easy. To the dream world. The is going to choose the best woman? No! He's not going to choose, he's going to set up a scenario where they can fight and he can be like, yes, delicious drama. <laughs> <laughs> of course, swear, of course. <sighs> it's been like two stages since anyone called you that. Someone just kill Tusk already. Showdown between two tanks. Grandis Grandpa, the Lady of Grace. I mean, there are two tanks technically. This is the Yoko tank, the little dinky tank. It's not a dinky tank. There's real women. I mean, Yoko's fucking right boot is bigger than their tank, but sure. So we got the guy next gals fighting each other. Agreed, Nadia. Shut up, John. Nadia. <laughs> Perfection. True art. Anya Alstrein. So, two youngest ones. F yeah, flower buds. He's saying you got the tiny titty.
It's just... Let's just screenshot this, because it's fucking good, actually. Where? Instinctive of the Duncan John. It's because he's awful. Yeah, I'm just a B grade flower that never got enough nourishment. Talking about the titty again. Uh, Grandis is 28, apparently. I mean, Catherine Vuitton is eternally 29. What was these guys' rank? Yeah. The young and not so young, yeah, alright. The old bag versus the literal child, but she's not even that old, she's probably like 30. What we do? Yeah, poo 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 doo 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 doo! Grandis looks fine for 28. I mean, I think that's what people have an issue with. Small, she's. Electra is 29. Yeah, exactly. It's because you can't have any of these people be 30 or above, because in their Christmas cake, even though they're obviously, like, minimum, like, 35. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay, I thought he was going to say one of them was ugly. Got to show your shit to nah, actually, you just gotta sell your shit to Japanese men where 26 is too old. Christmas cake is good till New Year's. Not in this metaphor. It's not that it's good, it's that everyone's sick of it by then. If you're not married by 26 as a Japanese woman, you will never get promoted in your job, and everybody think there's something wrong with you that makes you untrustworthy, that you have some sort of problem. This is bullshit. We have to go mama bear on each other! So when someone is obviously older than 30, you gotta, gotta go, no, no. 29 at most. You gotta remember that Apollo is 13, which is fucking not true at all. Sengar's 23, the same age as fucking Aqua. And she's old. That grandis is 35 as she's a day.
A duel between soldiers. Annoying and I'm sorry, Far, you fucking lost. Yeah, like, Ursha definitely beats Saka in a fight because Saka can't fight for shit and Ursha has a gun. How do you know how you're doing, you piece of shit? These two boys not cheering. In this time. Oh, some groups. Marvel and Chowm and Silky. Oh shit, she's got all of them. Oh, you're fucking done. She's got all of them. Just soldiers weren't learning kind of because Far's a soldier too. She's just not a very good one. And Callan's not a soldier, she's a knight. I have a habit of helping you. Fuck you. Cham. Yeah, I was gonna say. Oh, <laughs> you wanna like you? Oh, I love you! Go <laughs> fucking show! Show the hook, line, and sinker. You need to have the ninja versus somebody. Tell me there's the Wreck Reality kind of though, Marvel has a couple of chatty fairies, yeah, but she's still gonna win. And colourful trash Tolkien! Rosalie versus Red Iron and Naredo. <laughs> He's just talking shit! Go away, Ringo. Do you mean how beautiful your heart really is, even though on the outside you're this awful, foul mouthed witch? <laughs> good luck, all of you! Bellary's good and pure. Women are in the jewel of the demure. And yeah, like, the water character support in the Jokers. Yeah, with the chip on her shoulder bigger than she is. Classic. But yeah, Cross and just don't even like each other, so. Are you mocking me? That's just entered on a whim. So where's the Ori in, in this? What do you mean? He, he's not a woman, so he's not here. We've both joined because we're pretty fucked up. We both have really bad self-esteem issues. 
and seek love from an external source because you find it difficult to love ourselves. Shit, I got too real then for a second. Yeah, so these guys are sitting in their mechs to so she can be good and have the good moves. Ruindel! You started this shit. L's the one who started talking shit to Ru. Complete destruction, yeah. El Delenda Est. Mark 2 with half Super Pet versus Zeta, fair match up here, I mean... It's not like Rook can crash a plane into her, is it? But yeah, one of them's got the biosensor. <laughs> the demon versus the witch. Whoosh. Yeah, I'm sorry I failed to understand what it was about. The masterful plan of the man becoming an evil boy. <laughs> Throw the fight. Say you want it. Say you want it. <laughs> C2 is the worst and best. Yeah, agreed, Delush. Finally using his genius brain to make a smart decision. <laughs> it's not... I'm not the hero in a shonen manga. We don't become more friends by fighting. Looks at literally everybody else on the team. The match you've all been waiting for. Hilda versus Cecily. <laughs> That's not true. Fuck you. That's not true. You're not an awful monster. Fuck you. Don't you pity me? Cecily, part of the school that believes Alice is a Disney princess. Pride in their heart that makes a princess a princess. Thus, Gaston, the most powerful Disney princess, defeats the others. Alright, see, look. Jewel of Mages! Salian vs. Amari.
Oh, yeah. Rhubarb, rhubarb, rhubarb. <laughs> Sparrow. How could you do this? <laughs> I wouldn't use a duck normally. Make me a sailor scout. Yeah, you already said no. Together, brother. Just turn it into Salian. <laughs> you defeat Amari. I'll put you in the outfit. Subero, you damn dog. <laughs> Fair enough. You will win. Are you ready to rumble? Uh, so what happened in all the other DLCs is the OG one. So either Amari's gonna win, or... Himiko's gonna win because she's not even entered. Ready, set, to. I mean, these might be golems that Sparrow has summoned deliberately, so maybe they're not random. So we've got approximately 500 units to use this stage. And they're all going to have something to say. Yeah, come on, Tom, that's, that's how these things have always worked. I'm fully aware that all these people will have lines. I'm still getting music, though. Everyone's very excited to be here.
I want to attack whatever can do with the Taurus. Yeah, pretty much. Be the highest ranking heroes of the BF4. Um, who's the highest rank? Like Queen, I think. In terms of military like ranks. But she's also here as Preventer Fire instead of like Major Noin. Not all for ever being a Taurus, that's absolutely not true. He spends a lot of time in the Ultron. And maybe the Cross Angers. Yeah, like, like maybe one of the literal princesses is pretty high ranking as well. Like, at least in Z3, they all paired up into things. I will have a own quote? Yeah, of course they will. All of them will have their own quote. That's why they're here. Try it in. Gen horrors, I show you what. It's a ducky. Just uh, these jokers getting tricked into a competition because they were too rowdy. And we had a discussion where uh, all the reasonable people agreed that child soldiers are bad, actually. Isn't that one of her in the last DLC? Damn. <laughs> nope. Not for these particular vocal tracks. Tested him to avoid that precise thing. I think the thing that you need to end next step as a couple is smashing Koji's head in with a baseball bat. Says girls, Himiko. It's Himiko. Everyone will pick Himiko. Not as the one that you already should fuck if you didn't want to fuck Amari. But for the first best female character, because she's the best character. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, the procedure sounds uh, it, it's dumb or bad. I'm the one that cooks food. That's not how this is going to work, Salia. She's just got the good boy spell list. Actually, she doesn't. Full time persist instead of a tune and uh, 4C. Interesting. Amari's theme. So, Amari's second theme is definitely, like, this is her second theme, like, this song is definitely more like Magical Fantasy World. Fitting compared to Iori's rocking guitar one. But also, it's a martial arts mech. And... Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. Like, it's a martial arts mech and this song doesn't really fit there. Like this is like a like Eureka 7 paste song, right? Oh yeah, yeah, it could be his first one. Okay, so we just don't get the hero a second. Damn theme. Okay, yes, yeah, so it's the second theme for the railgun. Yeah, there we go. So we still don't know how good our second theme is, but this theme doesn't really fit the Kung Fu Wizard deal. It's a bit slow. Like it, like if it was a Eureka Sevens flying around shooting a bunch of shit everywhere. Sure. Kung Fu Wizard? Not really. Yeah, like a lot, like everybody I've seen speak about it says that her second theme is like super good, and it's unusual for the, the lady main character to like not fit better in the story but then have a better song like normally fits better and has a worse song So these two, this one hasn't yet. Get him far. Yeah, it does take a long time to get going as well, like the big slow intro. Yeah, compared to Asakim's theme, 
You feel the Mario fit the loop quite well, but then you don't like Iori at all. It's a kung, it's a kung fu martial arts robot, and Iori's the one of the two that is the kung fu martial arts guy. And do you hate Iori because you played Amari and you don't like Iori as the rival? Or because you played Iori and Amari and you still don't like Iori even though I don't understand how anyone could have strong feelings about him in any direction really? Amari is the main character who says the issue of Sparrow being a sex pest. every time. Do you see make less sense for the Mario's DMC because you would have been around for like three maps? Like, no, because like he, they would still be introduced as like being an item and like maybe she's like super into him or whatever. Like maybe it's exactly the same but they just swapped the, the names around. And they're all like... No, like she's like, I've got to prove I'm the best one, so... There's a button. Like, I've got to prove that I'm the best one, so he falls in love with me. And they're like, no, we're all the best one. Yuri is definitely the one that fits the lead best because it's his fucking robot. Amari was clearly added as a pick like, like a choosable character as an afterthought, really. Compared to compared to it's like V where both Chidase and Uh, 
Soji's uh, story, like, makes sense. And then and it's just down to preference as to which one you, th you prefer, rather than Iori's the Kung Fu Man or the Kung Fu Robot. All the attacks are obviously things that fit him. Do things. There's an afterthought she gets some good interactions with some of the girls like the stuff like Yeah, like. Okay, maybe uh, like a complete total afterthought 100% is a bit too strong. But also, it's obviously Ori's robot. They didn't even attempt to make any of its attacks fit her personality at all. He's obviously like the main canon one. At least you're not giving the argument that, oh, Chirise calls Setsuna a Gundam Weeaboo. And it's like, Soji does that as well, like, in fact, 90% of their dialogue is identical. Because that was an argument I saw for why Chida says better, because she says the exact same thing he says. The Atel card is kind of poop as far as OG Snake can go, and both Yori and Amari are deviant in, in deviant art here, OC Donuts. Alright, as I say so, I'm not really sure what any of that means, and I think Zargard's pretty cool as OG Mexico, actually. Well, what makes you think it's kind of poop as far as OG Mexico? Yeah, like, like V, you can definitely argue, like, either one fits. They both have angles that make their story work. Whereas this one, it's like, this is a kung fu robot. Iori is the kung fu one. She does not do kung fu. What the heck? Yeah, Iori's in her eyes designed to speak the ever loving slide. I should say, yep, yep. I don't know. I mean, you do. It's better than Chidasai's design. Chidasai's design is fucking terrible. It's bland and has no upgrade. I mean, it's a bird priest wizard. It has no up like it has no upgrade. It's got some cool attacks. Chidasai's design is pretty good. Chidasai's design is actually not pretty good. It's fucking like awful. It's maximum bad actually. Compared to the Gunleon, for example, the Gunleon which gets the same like upgrade style that Zolgard gets and then has an like an unlockable extra animation in an attack. Like, uh, like it changes form in an attack, but not on the map sprite. Like how Zelgard gets the big wings that spread out. You mean like that? Like obviously it's not as extreme as Gunleon's, but Gunleon also doesn't really have an upgrade. Yeah, like Wizard's Robot Kung Fu Bird Priest. I'm not really sure how that's planned. It's more interesting than, like, Genian. It's more interesting than 